Welcome back everyone. In our last video, we covered a G in GRC, which stands for governance and how leadership set the rules and policies that everyone within an organization must protect sensitive information. Today, we are moving to the arrow in GRC, that's risk management. And trust me, this is a big one, so let's dive right in. Risk management is all about anticipating what could go wrong and developing strategies to prevent or minimize the damage. It's like when you lock your door before leaving the house, you are managing the risk of someone breaking in. Likewise, risk management helps organizations do the same when it comes to their information and systems. Now, let's dive deeper into identifying potential risks and developing strategies to manage them. Come along. Just like governance, where management or top management or leadership set the rules, risk management is all about recognizing the what ifs. What if someone tries to steal our customer data? What if our systems go down for hours due to cyber attack? These are risks that organizations must think before they happen. For example, let's say you run an online store and you collect credit card details from customers. A potential risk here could be hackers trying to steal that sensitive financial information. So what do you do in this situation? You first identify the risk, the possibility of data breach, then figure out ways to reduce the risk, either by encrypting your customer data or setting up firewalls. The same thing we do in our personal life without even realizing it. Let's take a road trip example. Before you head out on a long trip, you check the weather forecast. If you know there is a risk of a storm, you might pack your emergency kit, check your tires, or even postpone the trip if it looks too dangerous. In this case, you have identified the risk, bad weather, and you are taking steps to reduce or minimize the harm getting stranded in a storm. Once an organization identifies its risks, the next step is figuring out ways to manage those risks. This is where strategies come in. In the cybersecurity world, Implementing security controls is one of the most common ways of managing risks. Security controls are like layers of defense. Continuing with our online store example, if you are worried about hackers stealing customer data, you might implement encryption. Encryption scrambles the data. So even if a hacker gets their hands on it, they won't be able to read it at all. Let's use another example from daily life. Imagine you are managing a large event like a wedding and there is a chance it might rain. You can't stop the rain, but you can manage or reduce the risk by renting a hall or a tent or better still, providing umbrellas for your guests. Organizations can stop all cyber threats from happening, but they can manage the damage by implementing security controls like firewalls, antivirus software, or multi-factor authentication, or MFA. But risk management isn't about putting controls in place. It's about making sure those controls work. Imagine you've installed um, smoke detectors in your house. That's a great control to manage the risk of a fire. If you never test the smoke detectors, they might not even work when you really need them, right? So in cybersecurity, 
Organizations regularly test their security controls through things like penetration testing, vulnerability scanning, user awareness training, or through audit or assessing to make sure everything is working perfectly.